fall's harvest was incredibly challenging due to rain and snow. And now farmers are stuck paying the Liberal carbon tax to dry their grain. The Minister of Agriculture is stalling and failing to support our farmers. Even the Green Party wants to have grain drying uh, carbon tax exempt from, uh, from grain drying in last fall's harvest, Mr. Speaker. So when will the Prime Minister keep his word and stop punishing farmers who are being forced to pay the carbon tax for the grain they were drying, and when will he reimburse them for the taxes that they've already collected? The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, we recognize that 2019 has been a very, very difficult year for our farmers because of the weather, because of the trade disruption as well. And this is why we are working so hard with the stakeholders, I mean with the representatives of the various sectors, with my provincial counterparts. We are working on finding real practical solutions for them. They already have some programs to some safety nets through our business, man, uh, business risk management program that they can rely on, but we are working to improve them. Bravo. The Honourable Member for Foothills. Speaker, for Canadian farmers, this has been a harvest from hell, and the Liberals are only making it worse. They don't even understand it. Canadian farmers have had to dry their grain, heat their barns, and they are being crushed by a Liberal carbon tax. Jeff Nielsen from Grain Growers Canada says, and I quote, these costs are adding up and we cannot continue to pay the price for this inaction. The Agriculture Minister has already admitted she is not even keeping data on the impact of the carbon tax on farming. Incredible. When will the Liberals exempt Canadian farmers from the carbon tax, give them back the money they've already taken, and end this ridiculous field of schemes? The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, we recognize that 2019 has been a very, very difficult year for our farmers because of trade disruptions and because of weather. And we are working closely with their representatives. I'm working closely with my provincial counterparts also because we want to find practical solutions to what they are going through. This is important to take the good decision based on data, and I'm working with them to uh, work around all of this. Mr. Speaker, I'm really committed to supporting them. Outstanding. The Honourable Member for Central.